Thanks and welcome back to you. I pass chatting with Chet, and today we have Conrad Vanderpool. And Conrad, uh, a lot of the questions I get asked as I'm traveling around is, how do you calculate the ROI? You know, which automations do we go after first? You know, RP has started to mature. Uh, this we're over 10% penetration in the overall markets. We're well on our way to being, you know, a, a commonly adopted piece of software. But really, what is the business value? How do they? How do you boil it up? How do you go back to senior leadership and explain what the value of doing RPA is? You know, it's been amazing to watch how the. Uh uh, the reasons for buying our technology have evolved over the last uh, months and couple of years maybe, but uh, it's really a genuine business transaction today. And uh, what customers buy it for uh, is significant uh, efficiency gain, it's dealing better with their customers, it's improving their employee experience, uh, it's improving their compliance scores. I mean, all of these things are directly relatable to the RPA technology. Whereas before, it was a curiosity, it was a cool technology that get uh, that was maybe tried out by a few guys in a corner. It is, it is truly part of the stack today. And uh, uh, it is quite interesting to see some of the success stories that our customers are, uh, are achieving you know, with our technology. So we're really not doing POCs anymore, we're doing pilots. The, the days of, of trying to prove- Actually, I don't want to do either, but- Well, that's exactly, <laughs> <laughs> we want to deploy, we want to deploy enterprise-wide right out of the gate. And, that's exactly and, right, as business a, unit-wide, that's, that's the idea. Now, with all kidding aside, I mean, I think customers, uh, first of all, they educate themselves really well before they actually get to us, right? Yeah. So we have many customers that are, uh, that are beyond the point of, hey, do I need to try out this technology? They trust it now. They trust that uh, it's going to have potential impact for them. So, so quite quickly, the discussion is, is then around, well, where am I going to deploy it where it has significant business impact? Let's take, for instance, um, our... Um, our contact center customers, right? Customers that uh, uh, that use large numbers of uh, of people in chat spots to interact with their customer base, um, and we find that uh, robotics. So, so you're talking about the call center floor. So people are receiving yes. calls. Is that, that yeah. the framework? Yeah, that's exactly right. right. Uh, and whether that's here in the U.S. or whether that's offshore, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's it's a highly automatable. Uh, environment where you know things like you know the uh, uh, the mean time to uh, uh, to success or the call time or you know reduced hold time uh, all get directly impacted by uh, by automating uh, so part of the process that uh, that that a contact center agent goes through as they talk to their customers. One of the things that I always say is as I'm out traveling around is if your bot's not affecting your PNL. You did something wrong, and you're really calling that out here today. Is that if the the call center agent is spending less time looking up the details on the caller that's calling in, the customer experience is better, the employees' experience is better, and we began to generate an overall value to the company that is well beyond just the number of minutes and seconds that we've reduced from the workforce. Yeah, no, it's spot on, spot on, and uh, it's the versatility of our technology that really allows. Uh, those types of uh, you know side by side technologies, right? It's really uh, uh, an employee has a bot working uh, right right by her or his side, and uh, that's that's where this technology is going. Where it used to be sort of a back office automation type function, it now is sort of on every every desktop and soon on every device. So it's really um, it's, we're looking towards a bot for every person. Uh, a bot for every person uh, is, is absolutely where the technology is going. And as a matter of fact, we have several large sort of knowledge worker customers today uh, that, that have made that commitment and are expecting to deploy uh, robots for up to 150,000 of their employees uh, to improve the experience, to make them more productive, and in this case, more billable, um, and to uh, significantly reduce the mundaneness of some of their day-to-day uh, jobs and uh, so where a year ago that may have seemed like uh, nirvana or an aspiration, right. we have it today. We have customers that have totally embraced that and uh, we call it citizen development or citizen deployment, right? So, uh, so the, the, the average citizen can be in the automation business because of the, the power of the technology. And UiPath has facilitate them being trained. We've got the online courses. We've got the ability for these citizen developers to get involved to get educated and become functioning members of we, the we, RPA We fully society. believe in the, uh, in the democratization of this business, right? And that means that we're much more than a technology company. Uh, we help customers, like you say, with, uh, with extensive training, uh, with, this, with extensive partner enablement, if they choose to, uh, to use a third party to, uh, to deploy the technology, um, and, and most importantly, to guide them through this journey, right? This is, this is a new technology for many folks. Uh, how it gets rolled out and driven by the business many times as opposed to 
uh, you know, by the, by the IT department, um, it, it creates uh, new experiences and new opportunities. And, uh, you know, we have a really strong approach to how to actually guide the customer through that process. Learn from other customers. We bring customers together all the time. Uh, we have customer advisory councils. Uh, we strongly believe that, you know, the best way for the customer to, uh, uh, to become a customer is to really sort of embrace that model. So the, the, our customers, our current customers and our soon-to-be current customers, uh, need to get involved in the community. They need to join the, the movement that's going on. They need to make use of all these tools that are available to them to truly uh, recognize the, the value uh, that there is because we've moved well beyond uh, FTEs and efficiencies. Absolutely. We've moved well beyond yeah. cost avoidance and risk avoidance. We're now looking at a holistic view of how do we change the employee's experience, the customer's experience, yeah. and how do we drive and savings. And don't the forget line. just the basic concept of automation first. Whenever you actually start tackling a new program, uh, many, many sort of digital transformation programs, right? Um, you know, you can you can quite well see how a digitized business, you know, will interact with employees and customers differently. But how to start, right? And uh, sure. it's actually robotic process automation that is the greatest first step uh, because it because it digitizes processes, it collects data really well, um, and has a lot of strong early results, right? That uh, that drives momentum in a uh, a larger digitization program. So uh, yeah, I you know the, the the benefits are truly defined in terms of in terms of business value. So Conrad, thank you very much for coming on chat with chat and remember folks if we get that automation first mindset the other steps seem to fall in place thanks and we'll talk to you next time my pleasure thank you